Hello everyone, we are going to be uh, talking about Tinkercad. It's a very helpful website, especially for those who do not have Arduino because you can do everything online, all the simulation, the code, wiring, uh, adding uh, certain parts. And this is very helpful also for those who have even Arduino uh, microcontrollers uh, or kits uh, with them because you can test your design online and make sure uh, you know it's functioning. Uh, because it's easier over here to debug and wire. Uh, very nice, very easy stuff. In the beginning, you have to uh, create an account. So basically, usually you will go to thinkercad.com. Uh, you will have this uh, website. Uh, you can uh, join uh, a class if there, it's assigned by your instructor. And usually we give it to our student. Uh, we give them access, the username uh, co and uh, the code needed. Uh, you can create your uh, own uh, account and uh, start, uh, as they say, tinkering. Uh, usually the way it is, uh, sometimes uh, very helpful and useful to share, you know, the experiments. What we are planning to do is to create, you know, experiments for you guys, and then we can share it with you. All what we have to do you can start tinkering uh, once you, uh, you log in, as I'm going to show you in a second. You're going to start tinkering, and you start the creating your, uh, your uh, project. So we have two ways. Either we can start from scratch, or we can uh, just uh, use someone's uh, project. Uh, they send us uh, the invitation or the shared link, if it is public, and we can use it. Let's first start uh, with uh, creating the project, and then later on we discuss how to uh, use others' uh, experiments and the project. Uh, if I log in, I click on the log in, I will have this kind of stuff, your username, okay? Uh, we are gonna use circuits, okay? Or you can say create my uh, project. So let's say I wanna create a project, okay? So now I have a project one. This is a project one. We can uh, change the project one. I'm going to call it, let's say, uh, LED. Let's assume this is it. Okay, save the change it. changes. Then I say create. Basically, we need not a 3D design. We need a circuit. Okay, once we have uh, this circuit, we are going to see a couple important things. This is our library. Okay, here I can get the parts. Let's say I need an LED. I can put LED. Uh, and then LED is going to show us so many things here. Let's say later on you want to use a servo motor. So you can say servo and you can see your servo motor. So let's say now I want to get an LED. Okay. Uh, I can click on an LED and get LED over here. Okay. This is LED. Uh, I can use the mouse, the wheel of the mouse to zoom in, zoom out. Okay. If you, if you, if it got uh, in the way like that, I can go back here. I can drag it. And I can select several properties. And this is, you can see, more much easier than regular Arduino, you know. You can give it a name. Okay, this is the LED. You don't want it, you can go delete. Okay, you want it back, you can you put Control z which is undo, Control z and it is back. Uh, also, let's say I don't want it to be this way. I, I want to change the position, okay. I want to get a mirror of that. Okay, it's easy. You just go here and you can keep moving it, you know, from this one. Okay, very good. Now, another thing here. Uh, what about uh, if I want to add a small notation? I can click here. Okay, and I say, hey, uh, I want to say, let's say, rotated. Okay, all set. You don't want it. You can click delete and it is press delete and it is done. Uh, the code, what about the code? The code usually, we put it here, we'll come back to the code in a second. Okay, um, let's say I'm not interested to, let's say I wanna get a code here, okay? There is a code and here we have what bunch of libraries, okay? But let's say I wanna get out of that code. I don't want it anymore. You just click back on this. Okay, see it? That's very cool. Okay, now I'm back to the, I don't want the library in my way. Okay, you can click that and then go back. Okay, very nice. Uh, what about if I wanna, you know, get uh, something already built using this uh, website? Also, this is easy. 
we go back to the library over here, click on that. And let's say we want the uh, LED. Let's go back to the LED. I don't want to start the LED from scratch. Okay, as I said, the job here to, is to get familiar with the online stuff. Later on, we'll talk about experiments. Okay, so I'm going to pick this. It's just to drag it. It's here. Okay, it is here. You can zoom in using your mouse. You know, you put a click on control and the change and the play with the wheel of the mouse. You can zoom in and out. Okay. Now, another thing, uh, if, if, if you click on it and move it, you're going to ruin the, the shape of this. But let's say I ruined it this way. You can always go here and redo it. Zoom in. You want to center, uh, you know, keep it in the center. This is the center. Now, where is, uh, this is the wiring. I can see the wiring. This is uh, my Arduino. There is a power here. It's mimicking real uh, life Arduino. Those are my pins. Later on, we'll discuss those, okay? But uh, where is the code? As I said, using the mouse, okay, uh, wheel, you can zoom in and out. Where is the, uh, where is the, uh, let's say this one here, this is, uh, Let's say I want to use the uh, code, okay? I want to see it. You click on the code. You know, I don't want the blocks, okay? I want to use what? I want to use uh, text, okay? So here I can see the code. Someone already did the code for me, okay? Someone already did the code for me. This is the code, okay? If I want to now make sure this code is running or not, as I said, the code it's already pre provided. So if I go back here, guys, Control-Z, I have nothing. Where is, what's in the code? Nothing. So then I go back to the library, and I selected this one here. I, here we go. So now, is there any code? Yes, you click on this. This is your code. We don't want, as I said, uh, blocks. We want to do it using text which is, uh, you know, usually regular to, very similar to C language, okay? This is my code. For sure, usually the code will be running because it is already tested by, uh, you know, the developers. Uh, let's say I want to run it. I want to see what's, what's happening here. You just click on simulation. So we are starting our uh, simulation here. You can see it on. Okay. You can zoom in. You can see it on. Okay. Let's say I want to change this to blue. Okay. You want to change it to. But sometimes, in order to do that, you have to stop the simulation and do it. It's better. Okay. So back to the simulation. It is on. And it is fading, you know. It's on, off, you know, it's fading. Okay, you see it? Uh, how are we fading that? Uh, we are taking advantage of the microcontroller. We have a program that can, you know, uh, create uh, this task. And this, the, the code, the one that we write here, usually, once I click in simul uh, on simulation, it's going to go be downloaded to this. And that's why when I click start, you can see this is on. Okay, that means I'm running the Arduino. Stop it, it is off. And also look at the power. Here I have power, okay? Now, um, you can always reset as you can see from here. So this is a nice, uh, nice tool. Okay, let, now let's say I want to uh, I wanna save it. It's already said save. Okay, it's already said what? Save. Okay, this is the uh, main uh, idea of uh, this session. Later on, we'll go into more details. Many thanks. Take care.